Do you know how fast your scratch coat is? In this video, you will learn one way to measure it. Please like this video and subscribe to get more videos about coding, game programming, and scratch. Pay close attention! There's going to be a mistake in this video where the code has a bug. When you see it, leave a comment saying, found the mistake! If you already have a game loop, you can skip the first part of this video. Don't worry if you don't, it's really fast to build one. Click New Sprite. Then, go to the Code tab. Add, one flag clicked. Broadcast a new message called Initialize and wait. Loop forever. Inside the loop, broadcast a new message called Tick and wait. Create a new blank sprite called FPS. Go to the code block. Add, when I receive Initialize. Click Add Block. Click Run Without Screen Refresh and call it Reset. Drag it under the Initialize event. Add a variable for this sprite only called Frames. Add another variable for this sprite only called Previous Timer. In the Reset block, set frames to 0, set Previous Timer to Timer. Timer is a variable that starts at 0 when the flag is clicked and counts up the number of seconds forever. Add when I receive tick. Make a new block, call it tick. Click Run Without Screen Refresh. Add tick under when I receive tick. Add change frames by 1, add if. You can try out your program now and see that frames is counting up forever. Next, we're going to say if previous timer minus timer is greater than 1. We want this to trigger one second after reset has been run. Add a new variable to store the frames per second. You could use the hash character since your sprite is already called FPS. Click for this sprite only. Add the set hash block. We're going to set it to frames per second, which is frames divided by seconds. Frames is just the frames variable. Add divided by and the number of seconds since the last reset that we built before. Then add reset. Why isn't the hash variable updating here? Why is it still zero? I'll pause here for a few seconds, see if you can figure out what the problem is. Timer is increasing, so previous timer minus timer was always negative. You can switch it to say timer minus previous timer. Now you can see that FPS is updating, and this tick function is getting called about 80 to 90,000 times per second. FPS stands for frames per second, measuring something called frame rate. Faster code will run more times per second, and so FPS will be higher. Slower code will run fewer times per second, so FPS will be lower. As you add more code, your FPS counter will go down, but you can play around and tweak your code to see if you can get it to do the same thing and still have a high FPS. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video and come back later for more videos about Scratch, programming, and games. Thank you for watching and see you next time!